What up, dicks? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. Today, uh, we're gonna go over this little rack I got right here on the top, a uh, little ARE basket rack. I've been wanting one for a while. You know, just to, I don't know what I'd carry up there. Might find a little something up there every now and then. You got the bed loaded down with hunting stuff. I ain't got no room for no lattes. Could be some lattes up there. Let's roll up and see. <laughs> Good God. Freaking latte 30 right there, son. Perfect, excuse the uh, dust. That's what happens when you keep this son bitch off the pavement. But I'm gonna turn this around real quick. All right, y'all ain't done that in years and as soon as I video, you're gonna do it. Push. All right, let's go over the rack. So they come, all right. So the rack comes in three different sizes, like a, a small, medium, and large. I got the biggest one. I, I mean, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't want a small rack. Everybody likes big racks. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be on girls, trucks, bucks. You get where I'm going with that. We all want a bigger rack. So, I got the big rack. Um, basically, you know, when I ordered my camper shell, I don't know if you can see down there. Maybe try to zoom in real quick. It's got the. It's got the tracks on there. Um, when I ordered the shell, I made sure I ordered it with the tracks because I wanted the factory to do all that and. If you try to do it after it leak worse or whatever, and plus it's warranty, whatever. So I got the tracks because I knew I was going to put one of these on eventually. So it, take, it sits in the tracks, and then it's got uh, there's there's a plate, a metal plate with two holes in it, and it you know in each one, and the bolts go down in each one as well. So it's one, two, three, four on each side. Um, I'll kind of show you. The old camp's real dusty right now. It ain't raining forever, but so I've got these little they come down so it just bolts through on there like that and i've got little hooks on on most of them i took them off here and was putting it on um i just got to put them back but so it's pretty oh come on cole it's pretty daggum secure i mean i'm shaking the hell out of this something it ain't moving but i just kind of wanted to do a quick little video on it like i said this is this is a large size um you know, and some people ask, well, why'd you put it towards towards the why'd you put it towards the back more? So let me see. So if you see, I got the ARE kind of like centered with the middle window, and the track actually goes, I don't know if you can see it, but the track goes up a good bit more. So I could have moved it forward. But like, you know, if I don't have any room for ice chests or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump my big old butt right up here like this, <laughs> jump there, and if I'm loading an ice chest, the rack see is farther back. So whatever I'm loading, I don't have that much of a far. You know, if it was up front, hell, I'd have to go on all the way up there. But now that it's back farther, it's easier for me to load stuff. And I didn't actually think of that. You know, the guy when I was buying it, you know, because they installed it for me. I bought it. It was free, so I just let him install it. Well, I used to do everything myself, but. It was free and I was there and got to watch and everything, but so he was like, well, where do you want it? And I was like, I kind of wanted it like up in the middle to like center the camper shell. Let me grab that thing before that sun warms it up. But I kind of wanted it like, I'm getting too old for that. I kind of wanted to see how the ARE is centered, but I kind of wanted the rack maybe moved to like center the camper shell, not the window, but like, so it was up farther. And then we got to talking and just, you know, and I said, well, damn, what do most people do? And he said, well, they, most people be put it farther back. And he jumped up there and showed me why. I'm like, damn, I'm a dumbass. Why didn't I think of that? Hell yeah, I want it back in case I got to load something in it. I mean, that's the whole point of the thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Mr. Stretch Armstrong trying to get an ice chest in it now. So we want it in the back. So we rolled it back a little bit. And I think it looks good. Um, you know, my plans for this thing, I've seen pictures. Let me jump my big old ass up here again. I used my hand that time, but sorry, the camera's going everywhere. You just got to get over it. But so there's like little mountain holes or brackets or whatever, all on the back. And now on the front, it's 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 the front looks like this with the with the mesh, but it angles down farther. But the back's got so I'm probably either gonna do two. Let, let me know what y'all think. Should I do one big ass light bar right here? I'm gonna tie it into the uh, reverse lights on my bumper that I got on the upfitter. So whenever I turn it on. You'll bright light me. Usually I can hit him with these ridges down here, but the whole damn world will light up. But let me know, should I get, you know, a cube here and a cube here and kind of angle them out or one big ass light bar? And I'm thinking 
you know, there's, there's mountain holes up here too, so I could do a cube on each side. Now I'm probably gonna do, I know I'm gonna do the, you know, either a, lights or, a light bar or cubes on the back. I don't know if I'm gonna mount anything to these holes up top, just for the simple fact, hell, I can't even, I ain't even tried to get in the garage, but it barely fit last time, so I don't think she's gonna fit in the garage. But, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, the cubes stick up that much, it's that much higher that I'm gonna, potentially tree limbs or whatever I hit. So I, I don't know, I think I might just wanna keep it, you know, inside. But I've seen videos, or just pictures online. I've been trying to search a little bit here lately, but I've seen light bars, I've seen cubes. Um, you can mount them through these, on this, whatever. But I also see, I've seen them up here before, but I also see, I, I don't know how they mounted them. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But they mounted it like the light was actually like perfectly in line with this, with this mesh. And I don't, I don't know how they, I mean, I could always, you know, drill through somewhere and make my own custom mount. Um, you know, I don't really want to do that. I see, I see on the front up there, it's got, I don't know if you'll see it or not, but it's got holes all the way on the front like it does back here, but just on the top part, you know. Like I said, the front's kind of angled, but on the very top part. But I don't, be honest with you, I don't want, um, I don't think I, I don't think I want no lights up higher than the rack. I want to keep them down low. Um, and I don't really need any on the front of the rack facing forward because I got the, you know, I've got the, um, put this down real quick. Sorry, I'm rambling, but I've got the, uh, I've got a front bumper here. For one, I got the Morimoto's and they're bright, bright, but I got two, you know, I got a, a, a fog, uh, like a, like a fog beam and then a spot beam, uh, four cubes right there. So I don't really, sorry about the camera skills, but it's, I got to film to where the sun's facing me because if I film into it, it, it fades away. I don't know what the special word for that's called. I try to watch people on YouTube talking about so I can learn something about cameras. And only freaking thing I ever damn learned is press record, son. That's about it. I don't know none of that aperture shit. But I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm gonna let me know one long light bar or a couple cubes on the back, and I might figure out a way to, like I said, put them inside going through the, um, going through that that mesh just to kind of hide them more, but. You know, I've been wanting it for a while. It's dirty as hell right now because, you know, the camps, the gravel, it ain't raining forever, and the gravel road is just freaking nasty at the camp. I mean, it's everywhere you go. I mean, this is from work today. They just see the dust coming out. It's just, it's, it's dry as hell, so I'm in a drought. But, um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Should I do one light bar or the cubes? And do y'all think it looks pretty good? Because I'm pretty damn happy with how it turned out. Um, but... And also, let, let me know if you think I should tie them into these little, uh, I got two rigid backup lights down there. They're small, but they, they, they're brighter than you think. I thought about tying them in, because they're on an upfitter. You know, oh, why don't you just put them in, tie them into your reverse lights? Well, I'll tell you why, dumbass. Because if, if someone's on the interstate flashing me or bright lighting me or whatever, because they're mad at me, I can't just throw the some bitch in reverse on the interstate, okay? And so I got it on an upfitter where I can light them up if I need to. Um, and also, like, if I'm unloading stuff at night on the trailer, you know, my truck's in park. When I'm unloading something, I don't leave my truck in reverse and go unload my shit. My truck would be way back there. I guess I could hit the parking brake, but nobody does that. So I put them on an upfitter where if my trailer's hooked up at night, the boat or whatever, or whatever I'm doing, I can hit that upfitter and it lights up every damn thing behind me. So that's why it's on an upfitter. But let me know if you think I should tie it into the reverse light upfitter that I have or a different upfitter. But I'll probably just tie it into the lights because be honest with you, I'm running out of outfitters and I want to do onboard air and a couple other things. But it was just going to be a quick little video just to kind of show you the rack. Um, I'm sure it's not the, the most well-built rack, but some bitch feels sturdy. You know, it's, uh, it, I think it's at least quarter inch thick. You know, the, the, the steel they used on it, it's, it's decently thick. Um, I've got this envision of a dream. To, uh, you know, I've got pictures in my head of, on the way back from like Wyoming or Colorado elk hunting with the uh, elk head and the horns on top. You know, that's, that's what I'm visioning, but I gotta make that come to fruition. But um, man, I, I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I mean, I, I really like it. So like I said, this is gonna be a quick little video. Let me know what y'all think about her. I've been wanting it for a while. Um, I, think it makes, I think it makes it look like more of a tank than it already was, you know? Some bitches already looks like a, a tank, but now with that, with that on the top, it just looks so much bigger, beefier. Um, I kind of thought about maybe throwing a rooftop tent over the cab 
you know, another thing, the fiberglass shell, I asked them, I think there's only like a, I think there's only like a three or 400 pound weight limit on top of the, I, I guess you can get a shell with like metal reinforced stuff, like a structure underneath the camera shell to make it stronger. I, I didn't get that. Um, so it ain't like you can throw a whole bunch of weight up there anyway, but I mean, if I'm going camping, like you saw, I just got back from the camp. Um, see, I got, I mean, we got a camp with AC, but I don't know. Sometimes I just like sleeping out here. I sleep better. That's a trifold mattress I put right here. So I sleep in here and you know, there just ain't no room. So I can always, you know, if I have a trailer with me, the ice chest just stay on the trailer. But if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I don't have any room. At least this will keep <laughs> going, freaking that. Damn. At least I have some, I can put the ice chest or whatever kind of my cooking crates or my Pelican dry box or whatever. I can put that up on top and roll out and have much more room in there for activities. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we're going to hit Clyde real quick like we always do. Um, then I got to mow my grass and my neighbor's grass across the street for hopefully the last time this year. Not that I don't mind mowing his grass. He had triple bypass. I'm just talking about I'm sick of mowing grass in general. But let me know what y'all think, man. I think it turned out good. I think it looks good. Some people, I know it ain't your cup of tea. Some, some of y'all idiots like them big old trucks with tires that stick out to my damn shed over there and the other one to this tree right here. You think you're going somewhere, you know? Talking about I ain't never been on a gravel road, dork. But this is the kind of look I like. I, I don't like the stretched out look. I like stocks and 37s, 35s. I just think stocks look good. I don't need all that extra wide stuff slinging anything right where. And they think, I ain't never seen one of them wide trucks go off road anyway. It ain't like I'm some off road magician or something, but if I got to get somewhere, she finna hit it. So like I said, we'll hit Clyde one more time and a, or one time. And then uh, we look forward to what y'all think about her in the comments. Let's roll. All right, so that pretty much, uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video on the rack. I mean, hell, what else can I do? I'm sure I'll get some hella use out of it eventually. And when I do, it'll be documented for all the world to see. Um, till then, that's all, you, that's all you're getting, but it looks damn good. At least I think so. Like I said, some of y'all like them old pavement princesses with the big wide tires. Oh, damn, son. With the old big wide tires and all that. We might have to do, let me get another little bit more, more beer. We, we might have to do at least like one and a half or something. <laughs> Talking about Oh, just, that didn't look like a full beer to me. You're right, it wasn't. I drank a little bit out of it. Push! I got to mow the grass and I got to have fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? My neighbor, he really has fun. See, I, that's, that's way more than a beer. <laughs> um, so my neighbor, yeah, he's a genius. I got a zero term because I just can't, if I got to mow, it's got to be fast. He, he don't want a zero term because he can't drink and, and mow at the same time. That is a smart man, see? And that's what, you know, aluminum bottles are pretty badass because like if you mow, you can put the lid back on. So Bush Light hit yourself up with the aluminum bottles where you can reseal and stuff for us zero turn mowers. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But anyway, as always, y'all want to, pre uh, if y'all want to uh, support the channel or anything, it's uh, www.buymealatte.com. Go there, buy my ass latte. All the profits gonna go back into the channel. Um, I appreciate the hell out of it. And also, you know, just if the if you like the video or you, you think I'm stupid and you want to see more of me, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll uh, we'll keep pumping them out. Tail in, uh, tails down, beaks up, son. God bless. Damn, that was a good bit more than a beer. Yeah, hello. All right. Appreciate the hell out of y'all, man. Later.